Hi guys, this is Allison with Crafty Creatures. Today I'm going to show you how to turn this into this, using supplies from your summer subscription box. Supplies you'll need from home for this craft are scissors. Our first step is to take our white felt and fold it in half. Along the folded edge, cut a one inch slit. This will fold over to be our pouch's flap. See? It flaps. Next, we're going to need to thread our needle. Find the end of the spool and pass it through the eyelet of the needle, pulling the string all the way through so you have a doubled up thread about arm's length. Trim the thread from the spool and tie a knot at the end of the doubled threads. For this step, we're only going to sew along the outside edge from the flap downwards. Start by pushing the needle through both sides of the folded fabric. Pull the thread through until you only have about an inch of tail and tie the ends together. Make sure you double knot so that the knot doesn't slip as you proceed to sew your pouch. Then take your needle and about half a centimeter away from that first stitch, push it through both sides of the fabric again. With the needle still half in the fabric, take the tail end of your thread and loop it around the needle and pull the needle through. Repeat this step until you make it to the corner. When you've reached the corner, change directions and go up the open side. Sew up the side until you reach that one inch point, in which case stop and tie it off. Tie your knot by going through the fabric and holding onto the string at the end, then taking the two strings and tying them together. Then take your scissors and cut the needle free. Next, we're going to sew our front flap down. Fold it over and thread your needle. Pass the needle through just the flap, not going through the back side of your pouch. Then, pass the needle from the inside of the flap outward and tie the two ends of the strings together. Sew along the entire top of this flap in the same manner we did with the outside. When you reach the end of the flap, tie off your string as demonstrated before. Once again, take your scissors and cut your needle free. Now that your seams are sewn, turn your pouch inside out. Before we start painting the pouch itself, break out your paint and paint your wooden button any color you wish. While your button is drying, find your cardstock, fold it in half, and place it on the inside of your pouch to protect the other side from paint seeping through. Mix an ice cream color that you'd like to have dripping down your pouch. I happen to be using green to make a mint color for mint chocolate chip ice cream. You can add details like sprinkles, or in my case, chocolate chips, to your pouch. Add as many or as little as you'd like. When you finish the front, set aside to dry. When the front of your pouch is dry, take the cardstock out and place it underneath the front flap and proceed to paint that flap using the same colors you used on the front. Remember to detail that flap in the same way you did the rest and then set aside to dry. Next, we're going to sew on the button. Put the button where you'd like it, fold the flap over to get a rough idea as to where you need to make the buttonhole, fold your flap in half and cut a hole open. Flip your pouch back over to the front. Take your button and pass the needle through one of the holes in the back of the button. Next, pass the needle through one of the holes in the front of the button. Then pull the thread through, not all the way, but so you have two strings that you can tie together. Make sure you double knot this as well as you don't want the button to come loose on you. Do not trim the length of thread coming off the button. We're going to use that later. Once again, put the button back where you think you'd like it to go, make sure that it'll go through the hole, and begin sewing. Pass the needle through the front flap of your pouch. Pass it back through to the front and into one of the holes in the back of the button. With that initial stitch holding your button in place, take your needle and pass it through one of the holes in the front of the button into the inside of the pouch, and repeat these steps until your button is secure. To tie your button off, Rather than passing the needle through one of the back holes of your button, just push the needle through the front flap, wrap the string around the button a few times, and take the two ends from earlier and tie them together. 
Use your scissors to trim the edges of the front flap, rounding the corners. Pass the button through the hole and now you have a functional pouch to hold your things. And there you have it, your own dripping ice cream pouch. Thanks for crafting with me today. I'll see you next time.